What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water, the drink of the summer, the drink of the year. It's a 10% ABV malt beverage tall can. We've got four delicious flavors. We have Sex on the Beach, Miami Vice, Margarita, and Bahama Mama. Current favorites, Bahama Mama, been my favorite since they came out. So good. If you haven't tried it yet, make sure to try it. Get you fucked up, and it's cheap. It's for the partiers. It's for the ragers. It's for the people that like to have a good time. And if you're listening to this pod, we know you like to have a good time. So if you haven't tried it yet, make sure you do. You can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near you, or you can order it now on Go. Puff. Let's get into the episode brought to you by Pirate Water. What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We got an early morning here today. Early morning. We're it's 10 30 in the morning. Wow. How Jeez. early is that? Bright eyed and bushy tailed, hair soaking, sopping wet. Just yeah. got out of the shower, like most episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just run, you run. I can't believe yesterday you showered. Yeah. What? When you were late? Oh yeah. That's crazy. That must have been the quickest I shower. I stunk like stunk. Oh, stinky. I just kept saying, I didn't just kept saying, but I was saying to Grace, damn, I'm hanging around with her too much and my ass is sweating. Yeah. I got sweat ass. Me too. It's just part of the job. Yeah, it's part <laughs> of the job. Sitting on your ass all day. Oh yeah, <laughs> baby. This is so uncomfortable. Yeah. You guys have no idea. It looks comfy, right? Do you know how hard it is to do this job? It's <laughs> fucking exhausting, <laughs> and tedious. On this bench, bro. It's so much physical and mental warfare. I know. Dude, compared to a fight, fight fighter jet pilot, I mean, we're pretty much the same. I know. Would you rather be a firefighter or a police officer? Right. Police officer, controversially. Okay, why? Because... Um, there was a time in my life when I wanted to be a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? Last week? Um, when, no, when my guidance counselor told me that I really could amount to nothing. Mm. To nothing. <laughs> You're saying police officers are nothing? No, no, no. So I wanted to prove him wrong in the best way I could do that, I thought. Was arrest was arrest him? To, uh, well, yeah. That's, a, that's an even... See, you think intellectually. <laughs> you just wanted to prove that you could do I'm it like, all. I just wanted to walk into that school one day and be like, look, badge. <laughs> I'm authority too, uh, just like you. I could see you with your hands on that big belt. <laughs> Dude, my aunt wanted to be a cop for her whole life. Her whole life, man. She passed the test. And then the physical test at the end, there's a um, there's like a fence you have oh, to jump. yeah. Bro, she tried seven times, seven separate times, and she couldn't get over that fence. Dude, what did they even do? What? They even built the course in the backyard oh. so she could practice. <laughs> yes, I was like, what did they even do? What are you talking about? Her family built her a course in her backyard so she could practice every day so hard, and she still couldn't get over it. Poor. Uh, and you know what I just found out when I was home? What? My grandfather was never a cop. You always thought he was? My whole life. Really? Yeah. My whole, huh? I'm pretty sure I had conversations with him that he was that he was a police officer. Dude, even I knew that. Dude, I really What? I really thought he was a cop. I'm like, why are all of his kids want to be a cop? Why is he in the backyard building them all this stuff? Like, what is going on? He worked for the state. I know, and they just made him a fake little job. Yeah. Yeah. And one day when he was getting lunch, he got hit by a car. I know. I knew all this, but I still <laughs> thought he was a cop. I don't know, man. That blew my fucking mind. I would have went my whole entire life thinking, Pa was a cop. Dude, my, uh, uh, when he was on his way out, that's a terrible way to say it, but. He was, he was on his way out. He's when he was man. on his way out. Um, my mom, my mom was like a caretaker for him. Yeah, that's wild. So my pa was dying and he needed someone to like, he needed a, someone to take care of him. Yeah. My family's kind of poor, so they couldn't afford like a real nurse. So Grace's so, mom. Who's, who's completely unqualified, but she yeah. was just there for, he wasn't like, just in case he like fell sick. or something. He needed someone to hang out with. I want yeah. to clarify that. Yeah. She was a glorified babysitter. Yeah. And she just like helped him go to the bathroom and sat on the couch with him. Yeah. yeah. And my mom said, while well, we were home that he, that Pa was the one person she thinks she's ever talked to the most in her whole life. Yeah. Cause that's all Cause they, they I mean, just do. they sat there, they chatted and then yeah. she got to know him really well. She's like. I don't even think I talk to your father that much. I yeah. mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I know. that's cr Isn't that crazy? It's wild. Just like to meet someone at the tail end of their life and then... Get to know everything. And then they're gone. And even even when they th they think you're somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I didn't really know who was who. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, that's the saddest thing of all time. I know. Is when, you, when you're on your way, you're out, and you don't. I mean, I think Alzheimer's is one of the saddest diseases of all time. I mean those are your final moments with that person and they can't remember you it's fucking heartbreaking heartbreaking Ah, uh, shit i can't believe we got there my sister yeah, we got there pretty quick huh yeah i'm sorry yeah. they you actually know. just the fda approved a oh, I saw that. drug that like stops early onset not stops but like delays the process of early onset wow. Alzheimer's. that's incredible yeah. i gotta get that for my mother 
Dude, Mine's she's scaring too. me. My mom does it and I remember nothing. Dude. Dude. My mom can't even remember to keep her eyes on the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> she's seriously, maybe she has ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> she just gets easily distracted. Hey, but she can't remember nothing. Mm-hmm. But yo, you know her. Huh? Who? My mom loses she things her? she puts away. I'm like, dude, you put it away 10 minutes ago. Oh, oh I knew I put it. I know, I know I put it somewhere where I remember. I know I put it's it like, somewhere, uh, dude. <laughs> no. It's like, no. You need, to, you need to start tying ribbons around your fingers. I know. You need- what does that do? Wait, who does that? That's like a thing. Like, you tie a ribbon around your finger so you can remember something. But, know. like, what? Like, you're going to forget why you put it there. That's a thing. And I and I and I promise. I'm sure it is. I've just never heard of it. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, Maybe because when you, so you put it somewhere and yeah. then you tie your, the ribbon around your finger in that spot so you remember where you put it because you can look at the ribbon and be like, where did I tie this? Oh, where the thing was. Oh, that's, that's what that's, I'm assuming. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't think the ribbon has magical powers, but it could. No, the ribbon's just there to, as a reminder. Yeah. For what though? I would be like, what is this for? <laughs> where I put my thing. <laughs> and then you go find it. Yeah, because you remember where you put your ribbon on. Okay. That's the only logical <laughs> reasoning here. Yeah. Um, Natalie Nundi, bitches, go name mm. check, check me. Let's go, little Uzi. Dude. I don't know any new words. Nicki Minaj going on tour. <laughs> we about to hit this shit. Wait, for real, for real? Yeah. Where is she going? Everywhere. It's tour. Is she going to Miami? <laughs> we should go see her in Miami. No, baby. No, baby. We need to get BBLs <laughs> before we go to Miami. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Uh, what is it? I don't know. You're the Barbie. Bar- you, all, all you're my- Onika. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it, bro? All these bitches. Get- Even if my name was Natalie Nunn, you bitches still couldn't chin check me. Dude. Yes. Fuck. Did you see? Okay. Do you know Ch- <laughs> Black China's mom? No. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I've seen it. She's out of her mind. What's she doing? Okay. So, do you remember Bad Girls Club? The best yes. the best season ever yes. with Megan. The one Absolute. that was like, I'm Barack Obama's yeah, niece. Yeah, I know. She has a podcast. Oh, my God. She's a fucking... She must be spitting. Dude, she is spitting loogies on China McLean's... <laughs> on Black China's mom's face, bro. What? Okay, so... Megan, she's still the prettiest bitch. Oh, she's so mean. I'm, I was, I'm a pretty bitch. I'm not like these other bitches. I was thinking <laughs> if we went on her podcast, how in. mean she would be to us. Oh. She is the meanest person to ever walk planet Earth. She just okay. walks around like, yeah, I'm better than you, and you're ugly and fat. I'm I like, want to go. I want to go toe to toe. No, I want to go fist to face. Oh, no, God. she will. She will stab you. Uh, I've been in fights with heart. Yeah, she'll stab you in the heart with her words. Oh, you know what? I actually can't do I know. I don't want that. That's what I was thinking. I was like, dude, we could do that. No, we can't. Too fragile. Anyways. Okay. Black China's mom goes on this podcast. I don't know why. What's up? Why? Why? I don't don't know. Who cares about Black China's mom? Dude, they're trying to stay afloat. Are they? Is she also in the porn industry? Uh, Yeah. She has a, uh, well, I don't know. Her mother? She has this. So why did I just assume that? Because Black, I don't know. Because Black China's not even in the porn industry. Yeah. She was on OnlyFans. Anyways. Okay, listen. <laughs> Black China's mom. I just want to Tony, I think her name is her. Tommy. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't care. Okay. She went on the podcast, right? Okay. She just gets on there. She starts lying. Mm-hmm. Megan's like, have you ever done drugs? She goes, and she's like kind of known to like two drugs. No, I ain't never done drugs before. I just tried cocaine a few times. <laughs> and right. then she's like. Um, That's so kind of what Lindsay Lohan said when she came back from rehab. Yeah. And had an interview with Oprah. She oh. said, how many times did you do cocaine? She goes, mm handful yeah i mean that's usually what it is right a couple of handfuls <laughs> just a bag full just like a bag every night full yeah a bag every night full something to keep you belly uh, anyways full. she goes on the fucking podcast <laughs> and she um she starts talking about all of these like businesses that she owns and all these things that she does and she's like yeah i'm like the queen of the world and then megan after goes and googles all the stuff she made everything up she doesn't oh. none of it exists and she's just trying to like steal money from black china and stuff and did you see her video from the drive through i can't believe you guys aren't on tiktok of fucking Chi- black china's how'd mom. you get there dude i don't know but she's in the drive through and they did her food wrong and she rolls the window down she goes Get your fucking manager right now. I'm not eating this fucking. We better fix this because we don't fix this. Shit's going to be bad. Did she record that on her own person? Yeah. And oh. posted it. She's a lovely lady. Yeah. yeah. So then her and Megan are beefing. That's I wonder what if, I'm on. Okay. All right. So Black China comes from. 
her. <laughs> yeah, black tie comes. I just feel like I would have said something bad. I'm just going to leave it alone. Yeah, no, black tie comes from her. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm up to on TikTok. That's what I'm following along with. Do you want to know what I saw on TikTok? Yeah. Two turn Tony's going to be on The Bachelor. But I don't think it's real. I don't either, but it's funny to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> because two turn. Okay, so he posted that and then. It looked kind of real, but then Harry Jowsey also posted it. And then oh. they like duetted each other and was like, let's do a dual bachelor thing. Two Turn Tony, I will say, has had the craziest rise to fame. Like he went from nothing to wow. Well, he's kind of like um, the nuanced hot Lance. <laughs> Remember Lance from Vine? He was just pranking his grandma. <laughs> yeah. He this I mean, two turn Tony, Tony was just pranking his mother until she was in on and saw a check. I know. Now they're all getting checks. Dude, yeah. Now the whole family's all fucked. It's I went to school with his brother. Really? Uh, what? D- just the brother? Do do Oh, you do, didn't grow up in the same do, town. Do do dirty dom. Two dirty dom. Oh, they're all in on yeah, it. Yeah, they're all in on dirty it. Dirty dom? Dirty dom, I think. No, not oh, dirty no. dom. You you need to come up with a new name. Yeah. Because I don't know if he's dirty. Dirty dom is Taken, unfortunately. Well, his name's Dom, basically. <laughs> and he went to Michigan State, so I know of him. Represent! Yeah, but yeah. His family, apparently, is like actually like that in real life. Mm. Yeah, I don't know I if get I it. want my mom and dad in on like all my sexual jokings yeah. and yeah. watching me spit into women's mouth and suck their ass while the parents say, wow. Really far. And the golf ball goes flying out. And they're all just having sex weirdly, I think. So it's kind of freaking me out. But listen, he's getting paid, man. Yeah, he's getting he's paid. He's getting fucking paid. Hate, man. I will say, to- Two Turn Tony stole my shtick, and my mother does see me spitting in mouths. That's all over now. Uh, but yeah, you yeah you moved on with baby burden. Yeah. Why? You know what? Actually, <laughs> oh yeah, because you lost your love. Um, but <laughs> I, I was watching my old videos last night instead of packing, and I was like, dude, wow. Yeah. No wonder yeah. so many people fucking hated me, bro. I know, bro. Dude, I was there was one video. I'm just standing there, and I go. TikTok, you won't let me post what I want, so I'm just going to throw up on the ground. <laughs> Dude, it was disturbing. I'm just going to throw up on the ground. And then all my videos, I'm like, oh my God, no wonder, no wonder everyone was like, go to rehab. Yeah, and I it's seriously and honestly, thank you for telling us because we've, it, it took, it took, it took months. Dude, but the saddest part is it's not even, like, we didn't even need to go to rehab at that point. We were just disturbed. Like, we were just gross. Yeah, gross. Disgusting. Like, I'm just like, uh, that person, if I'm I, kept, if that person kept come ar- came around now, I'd be like, I don't want to chill with yeah, you. Yeah, no, dude. I'd be like, that's a problem. Like, you're fu- fucking insane. Dude. dude, my old videos, I was like, I have to remove a few of these. The internet is forever. Yeah. Dude, it's mine. Kind of fucking crossed that line a long dude, time ago. Dude, but like, yo, mine were disgusting. I mean, mine were I was really filthy. running with. No, man. I looked all. I looked at them. All of mine were just uh, five o'clock in the morning walking home saying, yeah, 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 hey, when the party's over. <laughs> at least it was funny. Oh. Mine was just gross. I look back on any of my TikToks and I'm like, that's bad. I, I know. Even that. Two even weeks yesterday. Ago. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> like, I just, I'm like, that's tough. I don't know that person. <laughs> that was two hours ago. I know. I'm different now. I'm different now. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. It's just so, so disturbing to look back. I mean, the fact no. that so many people like loved it i'm like dude yeah i mean and then the, but they evolved and grew with us we were all we were all doing it I we mean, were all like, in uh, college at the time so it's kind of fine i mean no wonder older guys like hanging out with young chicks they're disgusting and fun <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's I'm why all the guys like the young chicks because they're <laughs> disgusting and fun you know i'm not perverted i'm irish <laughs> all the chicks love that <laughs> So when you're an older chick, you want to hang out with the disgusting and fun young guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I've, never, I've never heard you laugh like that. I just want to fix my hat. It's weird oh. not wearing one. Are you wearing a dress or a romper? Uh, I think it's called a, a jumpsuit. I don't know. Wow. I have uh, bathing suit bottoms on. That's baller. Why don't you just, why aren't you free balling it like usual? Because uh, these are kind of see-through. So I felt like, you know, those videos that we usually get. Seen on TikTok with you can see the pussy lips in the oh, sun. Oh, yeah. I just didn't really want my pussy lips in the sun, you know? I get that. I had to walk around outside this morning, but now that's just see through and you can see my baby two bottoms. That's kind of fun. I don't know what underwear is what I'm getting at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't own a single pair. No. Oh, are you going to Target? We grab me a pair for the trip? Yeah, I screwed up. I need Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. It's okay. You got to keep it tucked. Yeah. And you can go to. Uh, I, I'm tucking. You're tucking? <laughs> nice, man. I'm packing. 
I'm tucking and I'm fucking. Oh, yeah. And I'm sucking. Wait. And I'm gluck glucking. <laughs> um, I wonder by the time this airs, because it will be next week, if you have another body under your belt. I don't think I'm hooking up with anyone in the Fiji Islands. Why? Are you kidding me? Joking me? Uh, sucking me off? What the hell? It's Love Island, man. Yeah. You're not looking for that. Nah, we're not going there. Okay, well, I that's think. just gonna be a. F- I'm just gonna be like, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna be like, ah, oh, yeah, oh, just so gorgeous. I don't even think there's any gorgeous men going. I think all the men that are going are gay. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now you could turn them. <sighs> I, I was gonna make that, that joke. I was gonna. Ju- I chose not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got you, man. Uh, wish I could take it back, but you can't take back what you said. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you can't. Apologies. People change. I wasn't who I was two hours ago. Yeah. It's all the same. Uh, by the time this episode came out, my um, uh, the breakup one came out. Yeah. And I was uh, I was pretty stressing all night about it. Were you? Yeah. I, I don't know why. I mean, it's fair. It's it's like a finalization. Pub- a, f- a finalization plus you have to publicly admit. Uh, not admit but like just like it just kind of sucks that you have to publicly say what you're going through when you want to keep it private i know yeah Yeah, that's what i was freaking out about i guess and now i'm like oh if it's brought up on bffs they all say you have so many boyfriends i'm like dude i've had four boyfriends ever now i'm just the narrative from bffs to plan brie is so different yeah bffs is this hoe cheating and fucking and sucking and swallowing <laughs> and then you guys are like oh this sucks. the riz master <laughs> dude ain't gonna lie i have riz game on a level honey you gotta you gotta teach lessons <laughs> dude i know i gotta teach a riz course yeah i would i would pay top dollar <sighs> i'm gonna actually give you a thousand dollars soon okay word um i'll keep i'll, I'll keep you in the loop with that <laughs> all right cool yeah <laughs> no problem could use it thank you yeah no problem um you went and saw that apartment i went and saw that apartment it's too small <sighs> it's too small it's uh, it, it just really is too small uh it's a beautiful layout than yours, but so you know what there's there's that there's that you know pros cons list mm. it's a beautiful location we get to be we get to be best friend neighbors. Yeah, that would be so that cool if you guys are best friend. Really neighbors. freaking awesome, and we just like gallivant to work I every would, day. And I know, and I would, we could just hang out. It would be so oh, and hang out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too. Yeah. But and then I was saying to Brie, like, there's nowhere to put like a TV, but like you mm. hung yours up, and yeah. also because it's literally your apartment. Oh, okay. It's like it, hers is like different same. little different layout. You, really? That yours kitchen was like angled. Yours is kind of like mine's like square. a literal square. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is yeah. even smaller. It was oh, wow. smaller. Yeah. Like, um, is, is there room for like a uh, a queen bed? Barely. Or you walk in and it was just the bed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but the backyard. But the thing backyard's was so cool. cool because for like eight months out of the year you can use it, and I was gonna set up like a TV there mm. instead of a living room. And I, that's why I said I was like, because you can't really have a couch yeah. inside, but you could do like a sick patio furniture. Yeah. And you're in the West Village. And your neighbors with, I was almost called you Rhea, Gia. Yeah, I called you Tia yesterday. What's going on? Nia. Nia. Yeah. <laughs> Mara. <laughs> Sister, yeah. Sexy twin. Sorry, that was weird. Ah. <laughs> I think I, living in the West Village by yourself, you have to sacrifice a lot. Yeah. And I've kind of learned, like, I'm only in my room from the hours of 7 p.m. to when I go to sleep. And then yeah. I wake up and I'm in the office. Like, it's really, you have to be able to get rid of a lot of stuff. I had to downsize a lot, but yeah. like, I it's very nice. Yeah, I know. Like, it I is don't nice need over like there. You know, I just am by myself. It's really nice over there. Yeah, friggin', I don't know. Whenever I'm looking for a place, I'm always thinking I'm throwing these gatherings. I like, know. Oh, where's everyone gonna sit? Right. Like, I really just need room happen. for two. Yeah. <laughs> Me and you. I know. <laughs> and I always, she when she comes to play. I always <laughs> thought that too. I was like, dude, I got a good place to host. You never, never had anyone. No one over. ever comes over. Yeah. No, never, I'd rather outside. go somewhere else as I was anyways. Yeah, I don't want to clean up your fucking pregame party. No yeah. way. I thought the same thing when I got that like outdoor space. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have people over all the time. <laughs> one, it's rained every single fucking day this summer, so it's <laughs> I like know. I can't either way. But like. I barely had my friends in my <laughs> and it's just me chilling out there by myself. Uh, when are you going to get a cat, huh? Bro, I've been, I've been think- trying to get you to get a cat forever. I, I, I went to the Petco the other day and I was looking. I and there was actually an Ollie and Mango <gasps> legit lookalike again. The, she saw Ollie and yeah, Mango in Italy the, too. The, yeah, the, the Italian, Italian versions. Ollie and Mango. And they oh, were little, one little gray, except the gray was the girl and the black and white was the boy. <gasps> Reverse Uno. Yeah. But they were so cute, but they were like six months. So I was like, ah, like I want like a baby so that they, they know love me. You. Yeah. And I just don't know where to put my biggest concern is where do I put my litter box? Because my 
apartment is so small. Oh, my so bathroom. You'd have to get one of those small. like enclosed ones. Yeah, that like don't smell. Yeah, yeah. So that's just like my biggest concern. And Toss also, I'm we're gone all the time. Yeah, I know. Like my cousin was looking for someone. Her friend was uh, is looking for someone to watch her cat from August second to September second. I was like, oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. Trial. But I'm gone every weekend, pretty uh, much. Yeah, I know. So it's like I I just don't want to leave it by itself. I have to find it maybe in the winter when we're here like a lot. Yeah, like after the tour. Yeah. So I don't know. I know. But I really really want one. I got a jelly cat stuffed animal cat oh, for now. That'll do. <laughs> you big baby. That'll do. <laughs> you big baby Gia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Could always get an eye dog. Remember those speakers? Oh, I thought you meant like a seeing eye dog. Oh, <laughs> me too. I was like, <laughs> like what? I have had 2020 vision, but I mean, I could. Those They're really well were trained. Sick. <laughs> those were sick. Dude, my sister yeah. got me one for my like ninth birthday, and I was like, this is That's dope. the best present of all time. And then she ran away for five years. <laughs> At least she left you with an eye dog to keep an eye on you. Yep, she sure did. <laughs> mm. She probably stole it. Yeah. Yeah. Just couldn't get a good buck for it. Yeah, good old buck and doo doo. <laughs> ah, there's a fly in the studio. Wow. <laughs> you fly as fuck. Well. Let's get it, shawty. Do you see there's a new um, content house? Oh. People are still doing those? Yeah. What is it? It's a bunch of girls. Who are they? Uh, one of them's the blue eyed girl who sings the Morgan Wallen song over and over oh, and over again. Yeah. Oh. And that's the only one I recognize. What are they up to? What's it called? Pull um, it The Pink House. Oh. I think we have to pull it up yeah let's pull it up i feel like there's no way shape or form content houses are like should be a thing anymore there's just eight girls they just fell off i guess if it was eight and i'm not saying these girls aren't cool i have no idea who's in it but if it was eight cool girls that are funny that could be great content yeah but if it's just eight girls doing thirst traps dude seen it done it been there what's it called? i wonder pink. Pink. um the pink house i think is it a Barbie movie promotion? Oh, could be. Oh. Fuck, they got us. That marketing team is out of control. I know. They're really just doing far too much. <laughs> yeah, like everyone's going to go see it. Like, oh, you know what I saw? The, um, the Jamilias went to that Airbnb that they had. Yeah. The Barbie one. And I thought, because then the next day I saw Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Baby diamonds in my Miami Beach. Is that, that, that's a girl. That's sound when I hear no, hands you'll know when it's her. She's got those flow, piercing blue eyes. I don't know these people. Yeah. Yeah, I, never I clicked all the before. profiles. They all have 2 million followers. Hmm. So they're thirst trappers. Except for one girl, she has like 8,000. Gotta be someone's sister. <laughs> Who told... I just... I'm curious who told them it's like a really good idea to start a new house right at this time. Dude, the dancing thing's over. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think people want to, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe the kids love the dancing shit, actually. Yeah, I, I, see, that's where I'm old. I just like, yeah. I, I feel like I haven't seen a dancing video. The only people I like to watch dance is Zoe and fucking Cassidy. Electric. Oh yeah. my God, they're like I cool. love her. It's they're like hypnotic. Like <laughs> and they're just like good dancers in their heart. And you know who I like too? Fernanda. Yeah, she's really she's good. She's a baddie. I don't know Fernanda. She's a baddie. Oh, my God. Oh, her and her boyfriend? Yes, he's so funny. They're so funny. Yeah. I don't know They're my favorite couple ever, actually, it's I like, think. It's like, oggi, prosciutto, yeah. and then he's like, pesto, basilica. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fernanda. This is like, speaking Italian. Yeah. yeah, he does like these. Uh, have you ever seen that guy that makes like the prosciutto sandwiches, and he's like, prosciutto, too much salt. No, oh, no salt, yes, too much yes, salt. Yes. He like makes fun of that guy. <laughs> he's very funny. Who are you guys' is, like current TikTok obsessions you have? Oh, uh, Wishbone. Wishbone. Oh I my can't God. stop. I can't stop watching her. She's a she's a private chef in the Wishbone? Hamptons. Dude. She followed me on TikTok and I died. Wait, do you want to know a funny story about Wishbone? What's up? She okay, so I'm in this Instagram group called Shoot Soup Shares Anonymous. And it's just these random people that I have one connection with one guy and the, wait, they, wait, they just send what are you pictures in? of soup. A, a soup, soup anonymous shares group? anonymous okay and it's That's just a insane. bunch of random people i don't know and my friend krista we got it through french onion worldwide and we just <laughs> sent pictures of soup i like that and wishbone kitchen was in the group oh no way 
But she was dating one of the OGs of Soup Sharers. Oh, shit. And then they broke up. Fuck. The, the Soup Master 3000? Yeah. So then Fuck. she got kicked out of Soup oh. Sharers. And my friend Krista said in the group, like, wait, bring her back. Like, I love her. Like, they're like, no. Like, <laughs> like, like, like no, now can't. the soup is she, getting personal. She, like, didn't get it. Like, she was like, no, like, why won't you bring her back? I'm like, Krista, like, they broke up. We can't have her back into the group. <laughs> this is just, like, a Mad Lib. Yeah. That is crazy. I know. But the she, soup became tea. <laughs> oh, so she makes she makes dude. She makes she's phenomenal food. She's a private food. chef in in the Hamptons. In the Hamptons, and it's just so awesome to watch. I wonder how much money she makes. She has her own business, I think. She moved into the sickest apartment ever in New York. Yeah, I, or I, oh, so I think in New York loaded. or Brooklyn. Dude, it's so awesome. And she works for this gay couple. Who's like obviously loaded and they have like dinner parties all the time and they have, I think they have kids and it's just so fun to watch. She, she'll get the ingredients in the garden mm-hmm. and then she'll go to the <sighs> like the uh, farmer's market and make these glorious meals. And I just as of recently am obsessed with this. Oh, that looks wow. so good. Like, dude. Yeah, she made like a video last year <sighs> at the Hansons house and it was just Nick Kroll like chilling really? with her. Yeah. Oh, she must be so good. I yeah. wonder, I've always wondered what the um, the fellas do for work. Yeah, me too. I tried the, to do a deep dive, and then I was like, all right, it's it just too makes much. me so hungry. Yeah, I'm and hungry. She's so cute, and she seems so nice. She seems like a really nice girl. Yeah. Okay. So that's your current obsession. That, yeah. <laughs> do you have a, diff- a, a current obsession? I I wouldn't say so. I always love Brittany Broski. She's just so. Oh funny yeah, to she, me. I think she can do no wrong. Wrong. She yeah. just did the Barbie. She hosted the pink carpet at the barbie oh really yeah. i didn't see that i saw her video about it saying like i can't believe i did that mm. she deserves the world she does yeah she does also you guys know alpha gang mm-hmm. the alpha oh yes he's like don't call me the alpha i'm not the alpha i'm alpha this is alpha yeah and this is my girlfriend so you better fucking like it <laughs> okay dude pull up it, alpha alpha is bro <laughs> no let me let me show you this video gee i'll send it to you okay. it is dude without a doubt you remember OG TikTok when it's just, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, a bunch of people with like fetal alcohol syndrome yeah. and they were just like, everyone was just making fun of them because yeah. they were just absolutely That's insane. That's why we got TikTok. Crackheads TikTok was <laughs> epic back in that day. The Alpha Gang brings it back. Oh, let's go. And I don't care. I'm not ashamed. That was the best time on TikTok, man. And everyone loved it. So don't even pretend like you didn't. Dude, okay. it was crazy for a very long time. That's all you got. Dude, I know. It was in just like fucking sane. Special needs people with broken homes and droid cameras. Do you guys know Evan Papier? A dancer? No, I don't. (laughs) I'll show him too. Oh, yes. Dude, we we gotta watch this whole thing. You wanna challenge my pack? Well, I hate to say this, but I'm not the alpha that you wanna challenge. Because my true alpha is right there. Oh, wow. So if you wanna challenge one of us, you have to go through (laughs) all of us. Ain't that right, Alpha? So true. Oh my god, I thought they were gonna kiss. I stepped down because I had to. Now I'm back. (laughs) So, you want to challenge? (laughs) Let's challenge. You wanna fight me one on one? Well listen up well. (laughs) He was my trainer. So I suggest you shut up and sit your ass down (laughs) before you have to deal with him. Oh, God. And I'm ready. (laughs) He's fucking ready. (laughs) I'm all ready. And what is she, arm candy? Oh. (laughs) What did she say at the end? (laughs) (laughs) That is me and you. (laughs) And, dude, wait. Can we just watch one more? Like, they're, like, the best people. Dude, okay, they play massive games of hide-and-seek every every weekend. What? And whoever... They take turns. Wolf takes turn hiding. Dude, Wolf hid the other week. Which one's Wolf? Oh, dude, he is the best. <laughs> wolf is the best. Just pull, dude, pull up the most like ones. Like, Wolf, yeah. fucking, he got, they couldn't find him. This one has 3.2 million. Because he was hiding so well? Yeah. Seriously, like, babe, do you want the alpha? Oh, that's dumb. Nope. See? He doesn't want the alpha. There's your fucking answer. So shut the fuck up. I had enough of it. Seriously, that is quite enough. Just shut the fuck up and get over your fucking self. He'll never be alpha. He doesn't want to. I'm not forcing him. Damn. Neither is my brother. Are they, so, are they going to war? Mine. Neither his wife. All yeah. the so, time. No, the arm shut wrestling the hell are the best. Up. I don't want to hear another word about this. this. These are my favorite people Wait, in which... the fucking world, What's man. What's the dynamic and just here? The f- oh, there, there's Delta. Wh- which one? This uh, one? Uh, Delta is the guy with the glasses. Yeah, they make out a lot and shit. 
Oh, you beta, sorry. Mm. <gasps> no, that's mine. 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 Beta is not a cheater. I love you. Oh, mine. Are they even kissing or are they just putting their mouths against each other? Hands off. You can curse, Beta. Fuck. You can curse, I don't care. Fucker. You can curse, I don't care. Then he goes, fucker. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, they don't even purse their lips. They're just flat against each other's mouths. Dude, this is like the greatest. This is the greatest content house of all time. Yeah. This is fantastic. They all live together. They bring content houses This back. is a content house. I I'm, mean. I'm a little worried. It's like a Do you want to challenge me to a fist fight? Dude, I am going to be nice about it. I will accept your challenge. But you have to come up to where I am. Because I don't have a vehicle right now. You want to know where my vehicle is? It's right here. Oh. That's my vehicle. It's my pedal bike. That's the only vehicle I got right now until my <laughs> new job I start on Monday. Dude, there's one video where he goes, Yeah, I went to jail six, prison 16 times. I can fuck around and kill anybody. And they're like, oh. dude, he's trying to tell, he tries to tell people he's 50 years old. Dude. It is just. Why, why, why? He's getting married. Must he fight? He, because he's alpha. Oh, he's the alpha. He's alpha. And yeah. it's a whole dynamic. And they, their hide and seek games are epic. And this is my obsession. And I think it always will be. That's so fair. Yeah. It's that's so, so true good. and honest. Yeah. We, that's what a three. This Whoa. trumps uh, fucking a pink house. That's 180 from Wishbone Kitchen here. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, I just like I'm like I want to live with these people dude, for a week. That is a that's a vlog. Mm, I don't think I could live in. I don't think I could live there for a week, but I could do a documentary on them and check in every day. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't want to sleep there. No, we don't have to sleep uh, there. They'll we'll try to fight me. This is the alpha. <laughs> dude, we dude, we show up to the house. Two new alphas in town. <laughs> Arm Two new right alphas now. entered the crazy house. <laughs> Dude, you would, that girl, the wife, uh, Delta Beta, would try to arm wrestle you so hard for her husband. Dude. Dude. Yeah, I'm excited. That's a lot. That's a lot, right? Yeah. That's good, That's though. my current obsession. So I, I want to make TikTok great again like that. Yeah. It's just like the good stuff. I know. Where it's, it's just fun. Laugh out loud. Laugh out loud hysterical. It's just the... And the it feels eye. illegal to watch that shit, though. I know. It's, you're just in the... And it's all reposted. No one can find the, like, main page. These are all reposted? Yeah. Most of them are... What? Is this the soccer ball account? Or yeah. Is this, yeah. This is not what? that. Yeah. These are just reposts. It must, they must be grabbing from Facebook. Uh, no, because I've, I've made it. Dude, they're just so hard to find. <sighs> you know, because they're, they're playing hide and seek. But they, uh, <sighs> they, they take a lot of their videos down. Or uh, I think there's someone monitoring them or something. Mm. I don't know. It's a, it's a dynamic no one will ever find out or ever know. It's legendary, man. It's like the myths are real. They're like real wolves. Wow. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dire wolves. I'm surprised they're not cosplaying. Yeah. Me too. All right, guys. Quick commercial break. This is an exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. It's created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Uh, it's summertime. There's plenty of events going on. We have Drake coming up. It's festival season. 21 Savage. Bruce Springsteen, SZA, Mets, Yankees, Red Sox, wherever you want to go, there's an event to go to, so it's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last-minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought that you could never buy. We've been using Game Time forever. It gets us in last minute on everything that we want to go to when we have amazing seats. It got me into Harry Styles like $10,000 cheaper than what it would have been. So per the purchase process takes just two taps in 10 seconds. Once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone, no printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly so you can skip the hassle and enjoy the moment uh download the game time app or go to the website enter your email and redeem code plan brief for 20 dollars off your first purchase terms may apply make sure to check it out let's get back to the episode you yeah. tricked me as cosplay Crew. yeah they should totally have a little furry suit on right yeah. mm -hmm. whatever happened to furries too they're hiding and seeking and oh, they're true because it's not wolf season? Alpha. yeah <laughs> well yeah it, uh, furries are only around because you need to be warm oh I i'm so scared my sister's gonna become a furry She's really weird. Your little sister? Yeah. Honestly, nah. I was like weird like that when I was a kid. Like I was Dude, you weren't like that, G. Yeah, I was. I promise. You dressed up like that? No, I didn't dress up like a wolf, but I pretended I was a wolf when I was like in third grade. Okay. Didn't we all? Yeah. I'm that's imagine version. me and my cousins. No, I, the, yeah. I I got when I chatted with your sister for five <laughs> minutes, I she's not that bad. Mm hmm She's she's You said hi. Good to <laughs> see you. You look cute. Hi. Yeah, but she wasn't going. Yeah, well, yeah, she, yeah. She could like really be like she could like she talk. She could be like trying to bite you. She was shit. like, "Hi, I'm going to the beach. I'm super excited." 
Yeah. Okay. Like she was normal. All right. And like I always say, you were a weird kid. I was weird. So you're fine. She's freaking me out. <laughs> Why? It's like looking in the mirror. Yeah. So maybe she's going to turn out to be a legend? Mm, let's hope. Okay. <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> because, yeah, the, that would be the downfall of the O'Malley's, huh? Yeah. I mean, got to keep that family name going. There's My family name's not um, Fuck, it's continuing. Well, well, no, you're going to keep your last name when you get married. Obviously. You have yeah. to. I'm into, I'm into that. Would you ever propose to a man, you guys? God, no. no. I, I mean, feminism is no cool man until, deserves until that. I have to do that. <laughs> I think it's so... I, I know. Would you? No. No. I hate all the traditions anyways. I, know, I think it's even weird you got to get on one knee and propose. Ask the daddy. Daddy, can I... Daddy, may I steal your little yeah. bride? Because she's not your bride anymore. I'm going to take her away because women are just a man's piece. Wearing <sighs> white and like having your dad... Like give you away. It's like I a virgin know. weirdo shit. I, know. Yeah. I want both my parents to walk me down the aisle. We were talking I was about saying that. that. Yeah. Well, we were talking about that when I was home, because my cousin, shout out Chano, was saying <laughs> um, uh, that if my dad happened to die before my wedding, that my cousin, who's the same age as me, Shano, ah, uh, Shano, he was gonna walk me down the aisle. I'm like, no, it's gonna be your dad, man. He's no like, no, man, I raised you, man. I'm like, dude, and you just started talking it. to you two years ago. I know. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm walking you down the aisle, obviously, Brie. And you try to get the, everyone in on it. I know. He's like, no, obviously, right, right, great. I would obviously walk her down the aisle. I'm like, no, your dad would. <laughs> <laughs> and then we told the dad, and he's like, yeah, obviously I would, man. <laughs> That's just crazy. That's I want to walk nuts. someone down the aisle. Can I walk you down the aisle? You can be my flower girl. Oh, perfect. You could actually play all the parts. That would be cool. Yeah. And I could do a bunch of... You walk me down the aisle, then you got to run back and go get the, the rings, and then you run back and go get the flowers, and you're going to go run back. And um, um, be a bridesmaid, and then you run back, and you gotta officiate the wedding. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna get married in a church? No. Where do you guys want to get married? Um, do you guys like have a vision? I don't. Because really you know how when everyone's that. little, they have a vision of their marriage, and it's like a thing. I feel like I've never thought about it I until really recently, that. since everyone's engaged. I always think beach, <laughs> but then I think I also would like to do like a cool like not. Like a barn, but not like country. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Um, I like that. Up, upscale barn type of vibe. I like that. But yeah, I don't know. I want to get married in Georgia. Oh, with the willow trees. Yeah, with that all would the be trees. beautiful. I want a backyard like fairy tale with lights mm. in the trees. Yeah. I want Backway is the way to do it. Yeah. Back, I mean, backyard because most of these wedding venues, you, you got to end it at 11 and then it's like, I want a patty. Yeah. yeah. I just want it to be outside and look like um, a fairy tale. Yeah. And I want it to Or be. Italy. Yeah, Italy would be cool. Super bougie. Never even been to Italy, lots so I don't of know. flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be simple. What about you? If you could dream, what would it be? I don't know. This is how much I haven't ever given, a th- given it a thought. Uh, I was... I was in seventh grade or sixth grade, and my friends... I think I've said this before, but my friend's mom asked me, like, oh, would you rather your dad pay for your wedding or for your college tuition? And I was like, one, he's not doing that. Yeah, my dad is not Like, uh, two, fuck you for asking. Yeah, wait, Three, what? neither one of those are really on the plate. Yeah, but <laughs> like, it's great as well. Like... I was like, what, what kind of loaded question to I ask like, such I, a young child? I was just like, hell? Yeah. what? I always thought it was so weird growing up because in like every movie, every young girl talks about, I can't wait to get married in my dream wedding. Isn't that weird to think about when you're a little kid? I don't yeah. know. Maybe it's not. Maybe we're weird for not thinking it. No, we're know. weird for not thinking that. I mean, I think I think most girls are like, oh, it's going to be the most magic day. Ever. I'm going to be a princess. <laughs> I want to be just like Cinderella. Actually, Bride Wars. I Fran and made, Rhea. made me Oh yeah, I saw that. No, literally. <laughs> um, that made me want to have a wedding in New at York? the plaza. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. And now I'm like, the plaza is the most outdated, old money, <laughs> piece of shit place. You probably have to be on a list from like twenty years ago to even get it in ten years. Yeah. And I just that's not what I would want right now. No, <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah, the good thing about Franeria is that they want to get married in different places. Yeah. So that's good. I cannot believe they got engaged 24 hours apart. It's so cool. It's. <laughs> did you guys wa- you watch the episode? I just saw a clip about the bride wars. I could not stop crying watching <laughs> it last night at like 2 in the morning. I literally was just like sobbing. Like full on sobbing watching it. Were they crying it. in the video? Yes. And oh. the, Rhea, Wait, give us a rundown. Fr- so Francesca goes through her whole part and it's it, she talks about her uh, thing and then Rhea talks about it and then 
she starts to talk about a note that Noah wrote her and then about how her and Marty went through a very hard time together and like how he's always been like her rock and like he's shown her so much love. I'm like literally going to start crying. <laughs> it was so beautiful. Like just like they love each other so much. And she was just saying like no matter what, like he has shown me his number one best every single day. Like people have been so mean to us, like not even just online, but like in person mm. and like – he has never like wavered or like second guessed me or anything like that. Oh, and it's just it's so beautiful. sweet. Yeah, it was really just so unbelievably beautiful. And then they were talking about how their relationship, like they just has brought them so much closer and like they just feel like this like unspeakable bond between each other and like they're sort of lucky to go through this thing together. And I was like, oh my God. Love what is, a beautiful moment for two people to share. <laughs> like I just can't believe it. I, cry. <laughs> I, know. I know. It's like really it's nice. just so crazy. Like, yeah, it's just so crazy. For Jessica and Rhea, like I I always feel like Rhea is just like my sister at this point. And they just are so close. And it's She's just not? such a special moment. What? Rhea? This is news to me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like me and Rhea look more alike than me and Francesca look alike. But yeah, they just, it's just, it's just amazing. It's but that thing. was basically like, they just like went through their whole like timeline. And it's funny because Francesca was like, she had no clue. It was like very like small and. Um, yeah. What was Rhea's? Because it looked like she knew it was happening. Yeah, she didn't know it was happening per se, but she like knew that it was coming. Okay. Like she didn't know it was going to be that day, but like she tracked Marty and she saw that he was at the jewelry store. Oh, like no. she knew it was coming, whatever. <laughs> and then I like. I want to be so surprised. I want to yeah, be the most caught off guard in yeah. the whole world. I want to be in like my pajamas or something eating <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you love shrimp. I don't even eat shrimp. <laughs> my, my dad proposed to my mom in my mom's appartment. They were just smoking weed and he just turned to her and was like, Will See, I want that. That's, yeah. awesome. That's awesome. And then they just like got into the car and like drove to my dad's house. And they're like, we're engaged. <laughs> yeah, That's cool. awesome. Yeah, it's very cute. I want it to be like a, like a silly, like he knows he wants to marry you, but then there's like a perfect moment where you're just you two together. And yeah. he's like, I'm going to do it right now. Yeah. yeah. Just like, it's just random. I want to be very surprised too. But I like how they got the professional photographer because I had to take the pictures and I literally was like, Ugh! yeah, that's <laughs> stressful. And crying. It came out good though. Yes, it did. Yeah, yeah. There was like s- like six solid good pictures. So I was like, okay, thank God, at least I got like <laughs> some good ones. But I couldn't even like stand still. I was yeah. shaking so hard. And you want to watch? And yeah, like, I know. Oh, like, shit. <laughs> Imagine she was like, nah, bro. Bruh. I mean, we would have had a whole vacation with him, and his mom was there. <laughs> I wonder how many people publicly say when it's something like that publicly say yes and yeah. then when they go home at night they're like I'm yeah. not ready I would I think it happens more times than you that. think <laughs> I would totally you say totally yes. that's why that. I never totally want a that. super public engagement like that like at a baseball game or something because it's too much pressure that's corny yeah. Yeah. it's so corny uh, the, like the, with, with the strangers lights. you should never do yeah, it in front of no. strangers the people that's that like get engaged at like moment. the taylor swift concerts i'm sorry but and I this would, is where i can't stand that's it. like come i would on. kill go to disney my or husband. something oh or we my got a boyfriend remember we got a lot of backlash for saying we thought beyonce was overrated mm-hmm we just got invited to her t- new tour I'm shut like, up brie i know I'm like, dude. People would kill. <laughs> I know. I'm Me. Like, <laughs> I can't even answer that. <laughs> You're so annoying. I literally can't even answer that. I mean, I would have loved to go, but I can't. I can't after. Wait, it, when we said she was overrated, we said she's good, but she's <laughs> now you're trying overhyped. to overhyped. <laughs> no, we, yeah, we no. I mean, well, we, we did. Though. We said she's she's Beyonce. Yeah, but I just like I'm like I don't know. Yeah, I'm not riding her dick like t swift fans like i think it's the same with taylor swift yeah fucking shoot us i don't know man i'm unimpressed yeah if you see me on the street just with sniper my whole me. Entire okay. uh, i, I really think address. if you guys went to taylor's show you would change your minds no absolutely i think but well, i just couldn't be that i couldn't no offense i couldn't be up all night waiting to see what her her surprise song is in a different city that I'm not going to. I just can't even yeah. fathom no, no, no. that. Okay. That, that you're crying and shaking and throwing up in your boots. Yeah. I couldn't even think, like, <laughs> there's nothing in the world that I could care that much about. <laughs> like, it's fucking... I'm like, dude, if these Taylor Swift fans 
put this much time and effort into Politics? something productive, <laughs> the world would be a better place. Well, think about the Ticketmaster thing. They were so pissed about the Ticketmaster stuff. Like they literally put into law that Ticketmaster like has to show like all of their fees and like now they can't like scam people. Yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ticketmaster was just beat back Tickets were still $8,000. <laughs> yeah, I know. It really didn't uh, help. Yeah. I mean, like, just really think about if these Swifties dedicated all of this fucking time and, to and, and you know something what? else, it would be beautiful. The world would be a better place. They're all great gals. Yeah, I'm not saying they they're all not. Love I know. I feel special. like you guys are shading me. No, no you're just insane. I just couldn't <laughs> imagine that. We're all insane in different ways. That's I never your insanity did, point. I did stay up to listen to the songs, but before my shows. Because I, there was a few songs that I really wanted, so I would stay up to make sure she didn't do them. But then after my show, I didn't do it. I think I saw a couple of you shaking. There was, there was <laughs> a few. There was the shows, the weekend after because I was pissed because she did like two of my favorite songs the weekend after. I'm just picturing you bashing your head against the wall. <laughs> I'm picturing Gia like getting the noose out, being like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I, I was upset. I love her guys. Like her music, like has really like just. Helped me through a lot of that's beautiful. That's, beautiful. Bad that's times. a beautiful thing. I yeah. understand that. Good times. That. I understand that. And like the connection I have, I just feel like I have a connection with her just because like See, that's where she you're crazy. just helped me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She's she's with she's out of you she's out of your reach. No, she <laughs> has no idea I exist. I know, I know. But like when I listen to her music, like it just makes me feel like someone understands what I'm going through. That's beautiful, yeah. and I understand that, and I get that. Yeah, yeah. that's gorgeous and lovely. But the obsession is kind of like <laughs> me when I was eight kissing a Zac Efron poster. <laughs> it's just yeah. never going to happen. Yeah, it was me when I uh, I used to carry around a picture of Justin Bieber in my back pocket <laughs> everywhere I went. Ripped it out of a magazine, man. That's fucking weird. Yeah. But I'm like, these grown-ass women doing this shit, man. Come on now. Come on now. I want, le- I, I want lesbian to come out as Taylor Swift. <laughs> I want, want Taylor Swift to come out as a lesbian so bad. Oh, so many then people do. Then I would be on a train. Yeah. Gaylor, that's like a thing. I saw Coke, Coke Lore. Oh, I saw that too. <laughs> what yeah. the, what was she explain that? Lord? She apparently she like does like Coke now after the show. It's like I don't know, dude. That would be bo- she has to right? She dude, be, no way. She, no way she does. She's I too perfect. I looking don't think for that. she does. It's a picture. It's a picture of like her, Taylor Lautner, and yeah. somebody else, and they're like. They're freaking out because the coke's on the table. God forbid <laughs> the camera turns around. No Coke Lore way. Central. No way. <laughs> Taylor Lautner and Tay Swift and Joey King are doing blow together. <laughs> I can see Joey King railing lines. You think? Yeah. I feel like she'd be more into like fucking just ketamine, ketamine all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't Always. it funny how someone strikes you as ketamine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Okay. What drug? Well, what drug do you think Beyonce would be? Like ayahuasca. Oh yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. good. I think maybe just smoking a J. Yeah, just J. Yeah, ayahuasca. I see too. Harry Styles blowed up, right? Totally. Well, maybe some Molly. Molly. Yeah, Molly. Ooh, he's a Molly ooh, guy. Ooh, ooh, Absolute. <laughs> yes, because Molly makes you look okay. Yeah, true. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's definitely psychedelic. I kind of sure. fell off the Harry train, and now I'm seeing a lot of more pictures of him. I know. I kind of fell off a little. Didn't bit. fall off the Harry train, Not- but my I go through phases. Yeah. I think it's because he's like on tour in Europe right now, so it's like I can't really keep up with what he's doing. But he's been looking so good lately. He's been looking oh extra fine. Mm. Oh my god, extra mighty fine. I would do anything. I wouldn't even do anything because I would to just touch. walk away and say, <laughs> "Oh, there's hairstyle. Sorry." Yeah, I would do exactly what Brittany Broski did. Oh. Harry, is that you? Oh and then run God. away. Yeah. Like, oh, why did I do that? Yeah, yeah. go to the bathroom and cry. Yeah. Why uh, did she speak in a British accent? It's like so, so hard not to, though. Harry, I know. how are we all of you? I mean, any accent is just mimicking. Yeah. I know. And it, like, no matter which one it is. I know. I would do the same exact thing. Unfortunately, I which do it so much. can bring you some issues at hand. Yeah. But I, I mean, I cried when I met the Jonas sense. Brothers, like full on sobbed and couldn't say a word. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, it's like for, uh, uh, I don't know. Actually, maybe I wouldn't even care. I'm trying to think of some celebrity encounters. Have you met Harry like, Styles? I mean, I would just be like he. Well, I, I would just like be like that's Harry, but that he, stuff. he, because I'm just like it's just a guy, and it's not like we're ever gonna be friends. So why do I care? Yeah. But I would just be like, love your music, bro. Well, that's don't like with my say sister. Never. Oh, okay. <laughs> Best friend, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> More like hubby, hubby, Harry. Uh, no, 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 no. She's dating Harry Styles, and that's <laughs> what. Yeah, that's the tea. I'm oh dating Harry Styles, and that's why I'm single now. But I'm in a relationship now because I'm dating Harry Styles. Big run around mm. just to get to that. Oh my god, I could never date someone that 
that um, sexy. <laughs> I would just stare at him and be like, I- I'm sorry, I don't look the no, same No, I could way. never date someone that has dated that many supermodels. Mm, yeah. That's more so it. Because he's like, if he was in, if he were just in New York, he's just kind of like, that's an average looking New York dude. Mm. But the fact that he is who he is. Yeah. Makes him cooler to me because he's uh got a beautiful mind you know i bet Ugh. he's a lover man oh my god like he he's, you think his love's good he loves oh hard. yeah you think he makes like passionately sweet, sweet, you think he makes sweet sweet love sweet sweet consensual love mm. <laughs> and he's always consensual about it and, and his he, accent oh. oh baby yeah you like that baby <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> <laughs> I would have done God at your bye bye. I would just start having a seizure if you touched me properly. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Oh, I'm gonna explode. Yeah, that's- I'm made of glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I totally. If I ever encounter it, I'm just like, what's good, and walk away. <laughs> and then I would, I would just never think about it again because I'd be like, that wasn't real. I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> I'm good. I just black out. Yeah. There's only few. I feel like he's the only man in the world that can make me feel that way. In your heart. I like seriously heart. can't think of like it's it's weird. I don't have a lot of crushes on celebrity men. I know. More I, women really. Mm. Like I would freak out more for women. Yeah. That I like like Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. I was just like, this is so cool. But even then, like she's my number one and I was just like, yeah, that's I just went up to her. Like yeah, but you were stoked. Stoked. Yeah. But like, you don't want to make yourself sound like a robot. You were stoked. No, I was. I we talked about it in pod, but yeah. like, not like. Ah, yeah. You know, like no, I don't no, think no. there's anyone Who in the world that? that would do that for. Maybe Santa Claus, if he was royal. Damn straight. Why the fuck would you say otherwise? Matthew McConaughey, maybe. But yeah, he's really cool. It was a headline that they let his son get an Instagram. How old is his son? Thirteen. But does his son look like him? Uh, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, does he? Yeah, I, I think so. Did you see a picture? I of him? didn't click. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his he's like a, a legit mix of uh, is are they married? Him and his yes. partner. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, legit, exactly. Like, and he serves. He he seems so cool. Uh, they didn't get married till their second kid. Imagine being cool when you're 13. <laughs> yeah. Like actually, people are I like was oh, pretending that to be a cool. wolf when I was 13. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I thought I was cool, but I was really just what getting gra- what grade wasted are you in? and drinking Seven. lake water. Oh, okay. No, yeah, no. freshman year. No, you're you Fifth, turned fifteen you your turned freshman 15. year. So yeah, seventh grade. Seventh grade, yeah. Yeah. Oh I, fuck, man. I was a loser. I was a loser. I got braces. My I boyfriend was, broke up with me because I hugged another boy. On my chest. I was getting jumped. Yeah. <laughs> Just like you know. Yeah. These things happen. Stop. I was five eight. Everyone else was <laughs> five one. <laughs> I had boobs, and for some reason, I was getting in trouble for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally, dude. Yeah, that was gross. My time. boyfriend had to sit on a backpack to put his arm around me. Oh, no. I thought you meant to hide no. his boner. <laughs> dude, wow. I didn't even that boyfriends were not even crossing a thought in my head. It was too disgusting to look at. Mm. Um, I can't wait to ha- have my kids go through middle school. Oh my god! I cannot wait to be a mom. Actually, just watch it. no. I am oh, gonna I hate like, that phase of life no, oh i can't wait I, I can't wait till my kids in high school and yeah. i can actually talk to them College. without them screaming at me in their face my cousin uh, is like 13 be, 14 and she's it. a nightmare yeah, dude that's nightmares. the worst age man yeah because you think you know everything you yeah. think you know everything yeah but it's kind of fun because you're like i'm a parent i'm a parent now <laughs> <laughs> like it's like that's the you got to work hard during those years or you could fuck up bad yeah. yeah, you gotta be a real present you parent, a stickler. Man. You gotta be, you gotta do it good. I can't wait to like do exactly what my parents did. Where like, you know, they don't actually care, but they're so mean and they're mad. They're so mean. Ah, oh, I can't wait. You I can totally up. wait. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. I want to be a parent right now, bro. Pop it. I want to pop a point 13 at year. your pussy and yeah, say right, right now. <laughs> I want to be a parent right now. Get me pregnant. But fuck, I'm single. Celibate. Celibate and single. No, I'm dating hair cells. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you know most people see single as you're getting you're getting railed and rawed left and right? Yeah, but I don't like getting railed and rawed left I, and right. I know, but like, like usually some people say, love. oh, I'm single. No, I never can ever, ever do that in my life. And I wish I could, but there's something <laughs> wrong with me. I literally like, dude, if even if I went to the bar, hottest guy ever, like really liked him, I still couldn't fuck him. I just don't like the feeling after leaving. It feels like. Yeah, dirty. You don't own your own vagina <laughs> at least that's just my way of thinking because it's been so many gross times yeah <laughs> i don't know maybe maybe i gotta feel it one time 
no way. I'm too nervous. I gotta, I gotta, back. I gotta know you, man. I gotta date you. <laughs> I gotta date you, or I gotta see a future with you to get in my coochie. <laughs> and it's that's why it's so annoying. The BFFs audience thinks I fuck everyone. I'm like, dude, dude, just tell them your, just give them your truth. No, on BFFs, just they say, don't deserve my truth. Just say, just say, Dave, dude, seriously, I can't get anyone in my pussy unless oh, they I never fully say pussy in front of Dave. That is gross. <laughs> That's really gross. I don't even like to think about that. <laughs> oh, don't say that in front of Dave, dude. Dave liked my picture this morning, and I was like, ah. I actually don't really want him seeing the pictures. <laughs> you begged him to follow I you. I begged him to follow me, but now I'm like embarrassed. I'm like, oh, I look like a, I look like a loser. <laughs> oh, loser. I think you look super cool. Yeah. I think you're the coolest girl ever. Nickel you're punch. the coolest girl ever. Come on. Gia, cool girl. Hell cool. yeah. Cool girls. Um, I am. Um, I just sent this video to Gia of, um, did you see Drake opened his concert with this crazy thing of Anna Wintour? Yes. This is how we'll end the episode. Oh my god! Oh my god! So does he hate her? Um, she tried to sue him for the, the way they promoted their last album. Oh yeah, that's just like crazy. That's awesome, ain't it though? Yeah, it's awesome. Cause she's like, she must hate that. <laughs> Do you see all the AI of him singing like? All your ladies pop your pussy like no. it. And it sounds so real, like singing City Girls songs and shit. Really? Yeah. The AI shit's crazy. It's it is crazy. Totally I get like high. SpongeBob characters singing certain songs. Uh, me too. Drake and 21 Savage. <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. only Kanye yeah. singing Country Twang. <laughs> you know what? That's probably real. <laughs> he's crazy. He's just he's just trying to start it all over. Yeah. Um, that's a quick episode though, but we gotta go. Yeah, it's time to go. We it's got a flight go. to catch. We got a flight to catch, and uh, when we next time we come back, we're gonna have a lot of stories to tell you. No, we sure will. Oh yeah, baby, we'll talk to you guys on Thursday. Bye bye. <laughs>